WGN investigates now slaughter in the city. If you're a meat eater, you may not like to think about where your meal comes from. For some Chicago residents who live right next door to a slaughterhouse, that's not an option. WGN investigates Ben Bradley has more. Chicago may have once been called hog butcher to the world, but you may be surprised to learn animals are still offered up fresh for slaughter and sale just down the street from Starbucks in the trendy Bucktown neighborhood. I can hear crates slamming, I can hear the birds screaming and crying, and it's just miserable. 22-year-old DePaul grad Megan Boyles said she had no idea she was moving next door to a market that serves meat so fresh. It was alive moments before being sold. She says the animals typically arrive by truck in the middle of the night. If I'm in the living room on that couch right there, I can hear it loud and clear from this window, which is why I put up this foam wall, but it barely works. Boyles has now teamed up with an animal rights group, which recorded this video of a late night delivery. They claim birds are kept in inhumane conditions. Boyles is now suing Cialis Poultry, arguing that it's a public nuisance and violated a city ordinance that says slaughterhouses can't operate within 200 feet of a residence. Her apartment is one foot away. The intention is to expose what's happening in our own backyards and to um, pressure city officials to actually enforce their own laws. This is not simply about animals and the animal abuse that happens. It's a threat to the neighborhood with the bacteria and all the other contaminants that they carry. What we know now with COVID and other things is you don't want a slaughterhouse next to residences or a daycare facility like is right here. We've been here for a lot of years, a lot of generations, a lot of different people. He bought it in 1980. Frankie Perez's family owns the market that he says sells everything from chicken to ducks, pheasants to quail. I'd say they should go protest at Jules and at Mariano's that actually are doing and killing at a bigger uh, amount of animals. We're taking a little compassion because we know the customer and we know what they like. Perez insists he operates a clean facility. It is federally licensed, but it failed a city inspection last year. Inspectors said they needed to clean debris and feathers from the walls and ceilings, among other things. Five days later, it passed a follow-up inspection. You want to show us your chickens? I can't, just because, I mean, you can. Oh, okay. I don't know if I can. I don't want to get in trouble with my dad. As for the lawsuit, Perez says the market predates the city ordinance that says slaughterhouses need to be 200 feet from homes. And the city agrees. Business Affairs and Consumer Protection said since the business predates the 2012 zoning restrictions and special use requirement, they are allowed to continue to operate without violating existing zoning restrictions. In the meantime... The delivery trucks of the chickens come right here. Megan Boyles says she'll have sleepless nights until her lease runs out. What are you going to do in August? I don't know, but I'm not staying there. There are 14 live poultry slaughterhouses currently licensed to operate in the city. Most do so in industrial areas far from the eyes and ears of residents. Ben Bradley, WGN Investigates.